What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing Tuesday. It's April 9th. It is 85 in beautiful Southwest Florida. Boy, oh boy, that sun is ch shining. It's It seems like it should be a pool day. That's what it seems like, folks. This seems like a pool beach day. You know, the beach is only about seven minutes from me to good old Gulf of Mexico. That's where I should be, not stuck behind a stinking desk, not reporting into a nine to five like the rest of you. We all deserve financial freedom and we're all going to get what's coming to us in less than 12 month time frame. I hope you're ready because I know I'm ready. We're going to talk about Trangelo. We're going to hear from Brad Garlinghouse because he's over in Paris at the little festival. Or I should say conference, not really a festival. Festival is where you party. At the conference, what's going on over there? We're going to look into can XRP become an ESDR? That's right. I got some interesting tidbits I want you to see because the special drawer rights, I don't know, it's looking all and more possible now, doesn't it? And don't forget the IMF, the conversation with Brad Garlinghouse about four to five years ago at this point. So without further ado, folks, let's jump into it. Bitcoin, $68,776. It's currently getting beat down. It's down 4% in the past 24 hours. In the past 30 days, for the first time this year, we are in the red. Ethereum coming in at 3,490. It's down 4.31% in for the first time this year. It is down 11% in the 30-day 30 30-day 30 time frame. USDC and USDT both at their dollar pegs exactly where you want to see them. And XRP is coming in at a mean lean, 61 cents. It's about to hit 62 cents. Listen, it's holding up very well compared to Bitcoin Ethereum. We knew this moment was coming. How did we know? Well, I don't want to be the guy that told you this. Said I told you so, but I kind of told you so. May, June, that's the setup. That's the move. Bitcoin having 11 days away. What did they do? They propped the market up, got you all excited. They wanted you to think that this time it's going to be different. When it's not different, this is the same thing we've seen in 2017. This is the same thing we started in 2020, 2021. Right before the halving, the price went up. They got you excited. Everyone was screaming, this is going to be different. And then they freaking dropped all the profits and took all the profits from Bitcoin on you. And the markets went back down. And you're... You know, your euphoria of being on top of the world, you know, it puts you back at the bottom of the stairs, at the bottom of the hill. You got all upset, maybe a little bit of depression kicked in. And then what happened? The markets kicked on right back up. That's what they're doing. We've been telling you for the past, I don't know how many weeks, that we were about to see a dip. Everyone, I got so much hate yesterday on Twitter. It was insane. People saying, Rip, you're wrong. You're not right. Look at the markets. They're taking off. XRP is about to break out. Look what happened today. You know, listen, I'm all right if, I, if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I can admit it. But, you know, don't come attacking me because you don't agree with my narrative. The least you can do is come back, drop me a DM, no open, be like, hey, hey, man, I'm sorry. You know, my emotions, they got the best of me. You were right. It's not that hard. We're all human. We all make mistakes. I get it. I've been in since 2017. Trust me, there's been a lot of mistakes along the way. And there'll be more mistakes moving forward. We're human. XRP just hit 62 cents. There you go. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $2,622 trillion. So here's the dip, right? The question is, are we going to dip lower? I mean, time will tell. All I know is that it's, it's April 9th. We were 30 to 60 days away from XRP's move hidden. We have cut that down by nine days. So we are 21 to 51 days away before or yeah before xrp makes its move folks it's that simple now i got the website back up it's cooking only doing crypto news right now not really breaking it down to xrp nft not really doing any ta on it not posting my youtube at the moment it's all crypto news here's all the crypto news that we posted today one two three four five six seven eight nine articles today alone and this is going to ramp up the goal 10 to 20 a day, folks. And this will cover everything in the crypto markets. Obviously, the XRP Ripple News will be under its own category. We'll cover the latest and greatest in NFTs. We'll even get some technical analysis on here. This is all free. The site isn't even monetized, so I'm not making a dime off of it. But my goal is to make a one-stop shop for you to come to 
So you can get all your crypto news and you get all the latest and greatest news so you know what's going on out there. Supply shock incoming. Get ready, folks. This is what's going to send Bitcoin above 100,000. This is what potentially is going to push Bitcoin to that 150 to $200,000 mark. Only 1.7 million Bitcoin are left on the exchanges. With the coming halving, supply shock is intimate. And what are we talking about here? Something we have talked on this channel for many, many years. This is uh, this is eco 101. Supply plus demand is going to give you price, right? The more supply, the less demand, the higher the price is going to go. That is what we're about to see. And if you haven't checked out the new website for Lux Lions, go on, check it out, luxlionsnft.com. Or come on over to the subdomain, shop.luxlionsnft.com. Pick up your Wild Wild West Pride tier. If you don't pick them up, you're not going to get your XRP back. If you don't get your XRP back, I feel bad for you. Because what other, what are these other NFT projects doing? This is the reason we are the number one project on the XRP ledger. Look, they also got breeding capabilities. And if you buy three, you're getting a free potion into the lab to create your own NFT. And if you buy five, you get a free potion. Plus, you're going to get yourself a fancy little minimalist NFT for free. There it is. That's one of them. So what are you doing, folks? Stop sleeping. Wheezy, Ripple Partner unveils its new cross-border payment solution integrated 30 plus e wilds I covered this yesterday. I want to cover it again. Why? This is big. This is with Trangelo. Yes, they use on-demand liquidity. Yes, they go into Japan and into China and they have connections all over the UAE. This is massive news. This is big news. Ripple owns 40% of Trangelo. XRP, on-demand liquidity, whatever phrase you want to put around it, the digital asset itself will be used, folks. It is big. And when we get this, Bitcoin buckles below 69K as the crypto bulls endure over 175 million in liquidations. What's going on here? Well, the whales are jumping ship. I wish this was me selling 49 million worth of Bitcoin, 12 million. Listen, I'll take 12 million worth of Bitcoin. I'll sell 173 Bitcoin right now and take 12 million and go go off on my own little way, folks. I have no problem with it. But who's doing it? Grayscale. We have said this so many times on this channel. Grayscale is getting out of their Bitcoin position. All of it. Every single last Bitcoin they have will be liquidated. Grayscale controls where the market goes. Look how much they're dumping. Look how much they have affected the price. This is even putting a dent into their Bitcoin. And they took the markets down 5%. This is why we want to see XRP decoupled from Bitcoin. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because when Bitcoin gets dropped by 5%, XRP just has a little hiccup and it keeps going on its merry little way. But Grayscale will control where the markets are moving. XMonkey says, what makes XRP unique from all other tokens on the XRP ledger? One. Well, XRP is a native token. Two, it's public. No audits are needed. Three, it's neutral. It's not controlled by anyone. Four, it's uncensorable. Five, it's liquidity and helps bridge all assets. Six, XRP is necessary for network reserves and fees. Seven, XRP is the only token with the XRP ticker. Spot on. Love that. XRP has a bridge currency. That is what we are setting up for. That is where this thing is going. If you can't see it by now, I really wish I can sit down with you and uh, and really just, you know, kind of let you know that you're either with it or you're not because they've been building these roadmaps and these pipelines for quite some time, folks. Special drawing rights, SDRs, what are they? Well, it's simple. Foreign exchange reserve assets defined and maintained by the International Monetary Fun. In order for the IMF to hold a sort of cryptocurrency, what would have to happen? A country would have to be using and holding that, that currency. We are seeing XRP become a stable asset. We are seeing Palau use it. We know Ross Lockhout talked in this in about 2018 time frame. So what does that mean? Well, it means that XRP is being positioned where there could be an instance where the IMF is holding it. Chad put this out. About a year ago, IMF plus Ripple will create the ESDR, which is the digital special drawing rights, what you would call the world's money. Okay, here's a clip. Listen up. This is Ryan Zagone speaking to the IMF on regulations between fintechs and financial institutions. Thanks, Greg. 
Um, let me invite Ryan, please. Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan Zagon. I work for a company called Ripple. We enable real-time cross-border payments for financial institutions. Uh, we're lowering the settlement time from about five days to five seconds, and we're reducing the cost of cross-border payments by about 60%. We're working with about 50 financial institutions around the world to enable this real-time cross-border payment. To the question of will fintech endanger financial stability, I don't think it will if we maintain a strong principle-based approach to regulation. So today, we set regulation at a high-level thematic uh, principle that we apply uniquely to each different technology or product. So for instance, we will have uh, principles around market stability, or operational resiliency, or cybersecurity, so like strong components of a financial system. We apply those, ensuring the controls and the risk mitigants are put in place are unique to the risk and, and uh, gaps within each product. It's not one standard approach. So we customize how we apply uh, rules and risk to each different product. If we continue that approach of a strong principle base. So there's a reason behind all of this, right? There's Brad. We won't cover that. We'll save it for later. But Smoke Dog, he said XRP has an ESDR. It's backed by the deposits of central banks, the major currencies of the world, special journal rights to countries over a public ledger. Now, I'm not saying this is happening overnight, but I am saying the way that Ripple is operating and positioning XRP, that we could be looking at an ESDR. We could be looking at XRP being positioned to bridge all of the world's currencies, folks. Something I want you to keep your eyes out on. Something I want you to think about. I'm going to leave it like that. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.